These are bottle tiki torches. And tiki torches in general are relatively cheap. However, if you can have something cool sitting on your table, such as your favorite wine bottle or beer bottle, or in this case, a cream soda bottle, and you can pull off a green flame coming out of the top of it, uh, that's pretty cool. And then the one on the right just has standard centronella in it, and it's a regular yellow flame, which is a little bit brighter. So bear with me. Watch the video. I'll show you how I made these. Actually, I really didn't make these. I put a little kit together, and uh, we'll talk about that in a second. And then we'll discuss how you get this green flame out of a tiki torch. We've had these stands now for quite a while, and they're Tiki Torch stands in a really nice shape. However, the original cans, the Tiki Torch cans, rusted out to the point where they would not hold fluid anymore. The stands are really nice shape, they're really heavy duty, and I really didn't want to throw them out, so I hung on to them. And then recently we moved, and I got to thinking, you know, some Tiki Torches on our back porch would be really, really nice. Now, Tiki Torches are not expensive by any means, but I really like these stands, and I thought maybe I could put some bottles in the ends up here, in the tops, and then put some wicks in it and make my own Tiki Torches. So with that goal in mind, I got online to see if I could find some Tiki Torch wick replacements. Thought I would drop them in the bottles, put the bottles in the holders, and boom, I've got uh, many more years of Tiki Torch happiness. And lo and behold, during my search, not only did I find Tiki Torch replacement wicks, I found a kit that allows you to convert wine bottle um, or any other bottle into Tiki uh, torches. And this is the kit. It comes with three wicks, three caps, three of these guys, which just look like a coupler to me, and then it has a couple of O-rings. Actually, it's six O-rings because, in theory, you put some O-rings on the bottom, and that's what you shove down into the bottle. It's a pretty simple kit, and uh, it wasn't that much more than just the wick replacements. I'll put a link down in the description. I actually got it on Amazon. Uh, I think it was like 10 bucks. Assembling is actually really simple. I basically fill the bottles up first. I put about two-thirds of some Tiki Torch fuel. Uh, this is actually Centronella smelling, so it should uh, kind of fight off the Skeeters, at least in theory. And I've already filled the bottle up, and then basically assimilation is pretty simple. You just take this uh, coupler that they give you, and you thread your wick down through the coupler like so. Okay. Then the O-rings that are in the kit, there's two of them. You want to drop those on the coupler, one like that, and one like that, and that kind of helps seal it off in the bottle. Then you want to pull your wick on down, drop it in the bottle, kind of adjust your wick height. I like to leave about a half of an inch out of the bottle. Trim off any stragglers like that one and this one. And then finally, it's as simple as this, take your lid, and it's got a little clasp on it, just like a piece of jewelry, and cinch it up high so it can sit there and hang on it. And when you light it, you can put the cap on top to put the flame out. And it also keeps the rainwater out of this when it's sitting outside. So pretty cool idea, pretty inexpensive. I normally don't do videos like this, I just thought it was kind of a cool little kit. And uh, that was kind of neat. And now on to the question that you're probably asking yourself is, how did I get the green flame? There is a clue, and the clue is uh, typical Tiki Torch fluid is typically yellow, at least the citronella uh, scented stuff. And if you look at the bottle that was doing the green flame, it's clear. So it's obviously not centronella fluid. What it is, is it is heat, which is basically what we used to call dry gas. You can get that in pretty much any gas station or Walmart or any big box store. It's about like a buck and a quarter to two bucks a bottle. There's 12 ounces in here, which will easily fill up a bottle. But heat burns very, very clear. In fact, you can almost not see the flame until you turn the lights out. And even then, you can hardly see the flame. So the super top secret ingredient to make a green flame is actually roach and ant killer. And that is because this particular roach and ant killer is 100% boric acid and it's in powder form. You need about a tablespoon per 12 ounces of heat to get a nice green flame. Any more than that and you really don't get any darker of a green flame. It just kind of stays the same. I also tried something different this evening and I tried to mix, mix a little bit of this into some tiki torch fluid and to see if I could get a green flame. Oddly enough, I couldn't get it to mix at all. My goal was to have a green flame that would still fight off mosquitoes, uh, but it just it didn't give me a green flame at all. So you pretty much need to mix it with heat 
and that works out really well. If you know any other weird secrets to change the color of the flame in a, in a Tiki Torch, uh, please write down in the comments below. I would like to read them. Relatively simple, kind of cool project. It shouldn't take any more than 10 or 15 minutes. And again, these are the types of videos I usually do. I just thought it was pretty cool. And if you like these types of videos, or you like to build things, or repair things, or find an occasional review, please like and subscribe to my channel. Take a look at some of my other videos, and you might find something you yourself might want to make.